My name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to use the Twilight Dusk You Can Be palette. I only used this once, I think, when I did the rose gold look a while back. Um, I received this for my birthday. The quality I find is really good. It's just not my typical shades. You know, there's no uh, blue or purple or um, even green in here. I mean, maybe that could be seen as like a olive green, but uh, that's about it. But it is good quality. I do like it. It's something different, so I'm going to use it today and of course match my shirt. But as you can see, my shirt is very neutral, so I'm actually going to go for a neutral look today. And I'm going to try and go against my instincts whenever they try to pop up. So I'm already looking at here and here instead of here and here because usually I go for cool tones and you know again trying to grab like whatever little color I can but I'm gonna try not to do that and actually create just a neutral neutral look. I'm gonna start with my dollar store brush and go into Royal which is just a hmm, it's a setting shade but it's almost like a peach white yellow off-white kind of color. Crease to brow bone, as per usual. I don't want to add too much because it is darker and more yellow than my skin tone. Next I'm going to take my fluffy brush from Wish and go into Blazing, which is a neutral warm brown, medium brown. I'm going to go lightly and just start building up a transition shade. Next I'm going in with the same shade but with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it just to make sure I have it where I want it and deep enough where I want it to be more opaque. You know, before I learned how to use like all these brushes, or <laughs> learned how to use, just kind of played around and figured things out and watched people on YouTube, I used to use that dollar store brush for everything. Setting, transition, crease, lid, brow bone. I still use it for some of those. And occasionally I use it for things like crease and transition and lid, but actually I didn't do too bad with it. But now I use these for the most part. Honestly, this shirt is more cool toned. I feel like there's not a darker brown that I would want to pair with this. This one's too red. This one's really too red too, I and mean, I could use it, but I think I'm actually going to go for the black and just go in lightly. This is called Cashmere. Although my brush is black, so it's hard to tell how much... Oh boy, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it's hard to tell how much I actually have on my brush. Okay, wow. So this black is pigmented and must be used carefully. So this wasn't even that much. I think we definitely got some depth in there though, which was the plan. Now do I want to add a little bit of black on the corners? Will that be too much? What if I'm gonna add a little bit of blazing for starters? Let's see how that goes. Wow, that comes off lighter on the lid than it does in the crease. Also comes off better in the crease than it does on the lid, but that's okay. We are trying it out. So I'm going to go in with a little touch of the black. Okay, perfect. That's, that's what I need. And just kind of blend the two together and create the 
outer corner, outer third with depth as I want it. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. Next I'm going to go in with, I don't know how to say it, O-U-D, and it's like a champagne with maybe a slight hint of peach. I don't care for this kind of color but I'm gonna use it. Like I said, something different. And neutral. That still matches my shirt, at least. And then I'm gonna go in with Celestial, which is like your basic brown. And I'm gonna use that to just blend the two together. Close that gap. Okay. I mean, it's nice for a neutral look, if you like that kind of thing. Shimmers are really nice, neutral or not. Alright, I'm just going to put the tiniest bit of OUD on the brow bone. Tiny bit, because it's really too dark for me. But it's definitely a color I wouldn't go for, whether it's too dark for me or not. I would go for this one, retrograde, which is like it's like a step down from this one and almost as if this one was a shimmer. Only because that would be my only like shimmer highlight choice in this palette. But I'm gonna try this one out instead. Okay, so not a bad look. It's just neutral. But I think it does look nice in that it's a change for a day. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye! See you next time!